Hello children, how are you? I hope that you are happily staying at home. And children, we have learned about our lesson 6. So children, it is time for us to write the classwork. So children, please open your classwork books and put the heading lesson number 6. How plants make food. Okay children. So, take out your notebooks and also your pencil, eraser and sharpener and get ready to write the notes with a neat handwriting. Children, uh, please put the heading lesson number 6, how plants make food. Okay, now let us start with the first hard word. You also please put the hard word side heading, okay. See here I have written on the board. Please put Roman 1 and write down the heading hard words. Hard words. So children are you ready? So let us start first hard word. C-H-L-O-R-O-P-H-Y-L-L -L. Chlorophyll C -H -L -O -R -O P H Y L L chlorophyll. So repeat it after me, children. Chlorophyll. C H L O R O P H Y L L chlorophyll. The second one. Veins. V E I N S. Veins. V E I N S. Veins. Third one. Oxygen. Oxygen. O X Y G E N. Oxygen. O X Y G E N. Oxygen. Oxygen. Next one. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. C A R. B O N D I O X I D E Carbon Dioxide C A R B O N D I O X I D E Carbon Dioxide Okay children are you writing neatly very good now write the fifth one stomata stomata s t o m a t a stomata s t o m a t a stomata stomata next midrib midrib m i d r i b midrib m i d r i b midrib okay children next one photosynthesis photosynthesis p h o t o s y n t h e s i s photosynthesis p h o t o s y n t h e s i s photosynthesis okay children next one eighth one minerals minerals m i n e r a l s minerals Minerals. M I N E R A L S. Minerals. Ninth one. Starch. Starch. S T A R C H. Starch. S T A R C H. Starch. 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 Next one. Herbi ores. Herbivores. H E R B I V O 
R E S herbivores H E R B I V O R E S herbivores herbivores next one children carnivores carnivores C A R N I V O R E S carnivores carnivores C A R N I V O R E S carnivores okay children are you following very good next one omnivores omnivores o m n i v o r e s omnivores o m n i v o r e s omnivores omnivores the last one children sunlight sunlight s u n l i g h t sunlight s u n l i g h t sunlight so children i'll repeat all the words once again listen carefully chlorophyll veins oxygen carbon dioxide stomata midrib photosynthesis minerals starch herbi herbivores carnivores omnivores and sunlight so children have you written all the words very neatly children once again i am saying while you are writing your notes please follow a very good handwriting okay so that whenever you read them back you can understand what you have written and also listen to the word carefully and write without any spelling mistakes okay children chlorophyll chlorophyll repeat it after me veins veins oxygen oxygen carbon dioxide carbon dioxide stomata stomata midrib midrib photosynthesis photosynthesis minerals minerals starch starch herbivores herbivores carnivores carnivores omnivores omnivores sunlight sunlight so children i hope you have finished writing the hard words and you have repeated them once again okay and uh, so what we'll do now as soon as we finish the hard words let us start our question and answers i hope children you have your textbook with you right so children now we'll go to the next one question and answers okay now put the heading children question and answers roman 2 question and answers okay so let us write the first question why is sunlight important for a plant to make its food so children what it is why is sunlight important for a plant to make its food so children have you copied the first question okay now let us start the answer first answer keep in mind children write very neatly okay s u n l i g h t 
सनलाइट पी आर ओ वी आई डी ई एस प्रोवाइड्स टी एच ई द पी एल ए एन टी प्लांट डब्ल्यू आई टी एच विथ टी एच ई द ई एन ई आर जी वाई एनर्जी एन ई ई डी ई डी नीडेड टी ओ टू एम ए के ई मेक एफ ओ ओ डी फूड सनलाइट प्रोवाइड्स द प्लांट विथ द एनर्जी needed to make food so children energy provides sorry sunlight provides energy for whom for the plants to prepare food okay repeat it after me children sunlight provides the plant with the energy needed to make food okay children now let us go to the question number 2 a plant cannot make food without chlorophyll why a plant cannot make chloro sorry food without chlorophyll why so what is the reason behind that children if there is no chlorophyll in the plant why the plant is not going to prepare the food we will see the answer okay so let us start the answer children f o o d food c a n n o t cannot b e b M A D E made W I T H O U T without C H L O R O P H Y L L chlorophyll B E C A U S E because C H L O R O P H Y L L chlorophyll T R A P S traps S U N L I G H T sunlight N E E D E D needed B Y B Y T H E the P L A N T plant T O two M A K E make F O O D food. So children, let us read it. Food cannot be made without chlorophyll. because chlorophyll traps sunlight needed by the plant to make food so children any plant which does not have chlorophyll in it cannot prepare any kind of food for example mushrooms the mushrooms cannot prepare their own food although they are plants they depend upon other plants for their food okay so children once again we will go through the question 1 and question 2 i hope you have finished writing both the questions with a neat handwriting and also avoid spelling mistakes okay children come on let us start reading them again 
why is sunlight important for a plant to make its food sunlight provides the plant with the energy needed to make food sunlight provides the plant with the energy needed to make food second one a plant cannot make food without chlorophyll why answer food cannot be made without chlorophyll because chlorophyll traps sunlight needed by the plant to make food food cannot be made without chlorophyll because chlorophyll traps sunlight needed by the plant to make food children have you finished writing the both questions okay if you have finished then go and start write the third question okay and i also want you to maintain good handwriting and also avoid spelling mistakes why because while writing if you do more spelling mistakes while reading you cannot learn properly so children i am repeating this word again and again so that it will make easy for you to write very neatly in your class workbook and i am seeing many children doing the work perfectly okay children please continue in the same way and also read all the lessons not only this one whatever the lessons you have finished previously please go through them also so that you will not forget anything from the textbook okay children okay now let us start the question number 3 where do plants store their extra food where do plants store their extra food so children we know that plants prepare their food and store in the different parts of the plants body okay we will see the answer for this question p l a n t s plants s t o r e store t h e i r their e x t r a extra f o o d food i n in d i f f e r e n t different p a r t s parts o f of t h e i r there b o b y body l i k e like f r u i t s fruits s e e d s seeds l e a v e s leaves r o o t s roots o r or s t e m stem so children let us read the answer okay plants store their extra food in 
different parts of their body like fruits seeds leaves roots or stem so in what parts it is storing children the food which is prepared by the plants is been stored in different body parts like fruits seeds leaves roots or stem like the human beings we have ears eyes hands legs yes children those are our body parts so plant is also having different body parts like root stem leaves branches yes fruits and flowers so all these are the body parts of the plant so the extra food is stored ante kontha adi use cheskuntundi ఆ ఇంకా మిగిలిపోయిన ఫుడ్ని ఏం చేస్తుంది ఇట్ ఈస్ స్టోరింగ్ ఇన్ ద డిఫరెంట్ పార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ దేర్ బాడీ లైక్ ఫ్రూట్స్ సీడ్స్ లీవ్స్ రూట్స్ ఆర్ స్టెమ్ ఓకే చిల్డ్రన్ హ్యావ్ యూ ఫినిష్ రైటింగ్ ద థర్డ్ ఆన్సర్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఫినిష్ లెట్ ఇస్ గో అండ్ రైట్ ద క్వశ్చన్ నంబర్ ఫోర్ ఓకే right h o w how do plants use the food they prepare how do plants use the food they prepare so children we know that plants prepare food right so in what way this food is been used we will see the answer t h e the f o o d food p r e p a r e d prepared b y by p l a n t s plants i s e s u s e d used f o r for so the food prepared by plants is used for the first point growth first one growth see children here i have given the answer in points wise please you also write in the points wise okay first one growth g r o w t h growth g r o w t h growth second point b u i l d i n g building v a r i o u s various p a r t s parts o f of p l a n t s plants s u c h such a s as f l o w e r s flowers f r u i t s fruits a n d and s e e d s seeds building various parts of plants such as flowers fruits and seeds okay children so the plant will also build up different parts avuna kada chakka chakka bold and parts in tar jeskun like fruits flowers seeds avuna so it is used for building them okay next one third point repairing damage r e p a i r i n g repairing d a m a g e damage repairing damage so children it is also used for repairing any damage see sometimes i have said that the plants may get hurt okay so 
కొన్ని కొన్ని దెబ్బలు లాంటివి తగులుతూ ఉంటాయి సో వాటికి మనమే మనమైతే ఏం చేస్తాం కట్టు కట్టుకుంటాం అలాగే ప్లాంట్స్ ఏం చేస్తే వాటికి అవి హాస్పిటల్స్కి వెళ్ళవు కదా సో వాట్ ఇట్ విల్ డూ ఇట్ విల్ రిపేర్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ దానికి అదే సెల్ఫ్గా రిపేర్ చేసుకుంటుంది ఇట్ విల్ హీల్ ఇట్స్ వూన్స్ ఓకే ఫోర్త్ పాయింట్ ఆర్ఈస్టి రెస్ట్ ఈజ్ సిహెచ్ఏఎన్ జిఈడి చేంజ్డ్ టిఓ టూ ఎస్టిఏఆర్సిహెచ్ స్టార్చ్ ఏఎన్డి అండ్ సో చిల్డ్రన్ ఆర్ యూ ఫాలోయింగ్ ఓకే అండ్ ఎస్టిఓఆర్ఈడి స్టోర్డ్ ఐఎన్ ఇన్ డిఐ ఎఫ్ ఎఫ్ ఈఆర్ ఈఎన్ టి డిఫరెంట్ పిఏఆర్టిఎస్ పార్ట్స్ ఓఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ టిహెచ్ఈ ద ప్లాంట్ పిఎల్ఏఎన్టి ప్లాంట్ రెస్ట్ ఈజ్ చేంజ్ టు స్టార్చ్ అండ్ స్టోర్డ్ ఇన్ డిఫరెంట్ పార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్లాంట్ so children we will go through all the answer once please follow me how do plants use the food they prepare so in what way the food is been prepared is used by the plant okay the food prepared by plants is used for growth building various parts of plants such as flowers fruits and seeds repairing damage rest is changed to starch and stored in different parts of the body okay we'll see the question number 5 why should we maintain the balance between plants and animals in nature so children why we have to maintain that balance between the plants and animals in the nature write down the answer w e v s h o u l d should m a i n t a i n maintain t h e the b a l a n c e balance b e t w e e n between p l a n t s plants a n d and a n i m a l s animals i n in n a t u r e nature s o s o t h a t that p l a n t s plants g e t get e n o u g h enough c a r b o n d i o x i d e carbon dioxide t o 2 m a k e make f o o d food a n d and a n i m a l s animals g e t get f o o d food a n d and o x y z e n oxygen f r o m from p l a n t s plants we should maintain the balance between plants and animals in nature so that plants get enough carbon dioxide to make food and animals get food and oxygen from plants i have already discussed this point with you children what we are getting we are getting food and oxygen from the plants and what plants are taking from us they are taking carbon dioxide which is not useful for us okay so in this way we can maintain the balance between the plants and the animals in the nature again we'll repeat this answer children we should maintain the balance between plants and animals in nature so that plants get enough carbon dioxide to make food and animals get food and oxygen from plants 
okay i hope that we have finished writing the answers all the five answers right children if you have not finished it is not a big problem no problem go to the video to the first point and again you can start it okay and also uh, make sure you will read and first you write and then read the five given question and answers along with the hard words okay children and i suggest you to go through the textbook as i always say textbook reading is very important me try cheyandi rakapothe parents ni support iskoni chadavandi but do not neglect your studies that we are not having school right now okay children i hope everybody are doing very good and uh, stay home stay safe thank you